All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. So today's reading is going to be the person that is on your mind. Okay. Keep in mind this is general, so it may or may not resonate. Take it if it does, leave it if it doesn't. If you want something personal, I do have a $20 off promotion going on at this moment. Everything will be in the description box. Okay, so let's take a look at the person on your mind. Oh, we have the card of recognition. Wow, strong energy. Okay, this person feels very, very, very intensely for you. Um, they're recognizing who you are. They feel like there's there's some sort of soul recognition that this person has had in regards to you. Um, and they're very devoted to you, or this person wants to devote themselves to you. Let's see, the person on your mind on your mind yeah look at see beautiful energy we have the sun this could be a leo or you could be we have the seven of pentacles and we have the wheel of fortune in reverse okay so what i'm feeling right now is that there is some waiting period happening i feel like things got delayed between you and this person that you have a soul connection with yeah so there could have been or could be a period of time look at that are you kidding the lovers Okay, there could have been or there could be a period of time where you guys haven't been communicating. Page of Wands is in reverse. Why am I getting a sense that this is someone that you have a strong connection with, but for whatever reason, like things have been delayed or things haven't been happening in the time frame that you were expecting? We got the Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. It's like there's a hold on this connection. Why is this? The King of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and we, oh, oh, okay. Is it that your person has to <clears throat> release themselves from someone else first and they haven't done this yet? That's what it looks like. This looks like, because I asked, why are things delayed? So this person on your mind feels like you are their person. They feel this strong, like, soul recognition. They feel actually very devoted to you. Um, you make them very happy. There's a lot of positivity here. But if this is someone who's, like, involved with someone else, like, say they were married already, or even if they're, like, separated but they just haven't filed for divorce, like, that kind of thing, I feel like they still have to make this decision um, in regards to a third party and that that's what's caused this delay between the two of you I don't know if you guys have been waiting for them to do this um, But I'm getting it's like there's this connection, but it's been delayed and maybe the communication stopped at the same time as well Yeah, this could have caused heartbreak for you. We have the three of swords here How do they see you? How do they see you? Yeah, see, they see you as marriage material. Like, this person sees you as their person. They see you as the person that they want to marry, they want to commit to. If you look at this Four of Wands, these two people are in the city. I don't know if you guys live in the city. Um, but they also, it's like this person wants to be with you. They see you as their other half. They see you as marriage material. Okay? Um, we have the Empress here as well, coming through in reverse with the Eight of Swords in reverse. I think what's happening here is that this person is still attached to another situation that they feel partially stuck in like again it feels to me kind of like for instance let's say they were with someone but they separated but they still live together and like there's financial ties like i'm getting that kind of vibe so it may not be like that they're actually like in a relationship see look i just split on the word stuck and that's what i was just saying like i feel like this person is almost stuck in a situation um and it may not be that they're actually with someone but it's like they feel like stuck because of finances or it could be because of like legal matters yeah, it could also be that they have a family, like possibly. Yeah, see, we've got the crossroads card with the family here. For some of you, it could be like this person has kids with someone else, so things are a little bit more complicated than they would be if that wasn't the case, if that makes sense. Because ultimately, I feel like this person is very devoted to you. I'm not getting that they're like... I'm not getting that they're like energetically connected to another person. It feels more like logistics. It feels more like, well, you know, 
we still haven't filed for the paperwork or whatever it is like that's kind of what I'm feeling here it feels like this person has a lot of their energy on you how are you viewing this connection justice Libra energy and that yeah you're wanting them to make the right decision it's like you're wanting things to be right you're wanting things to be balanced you're wanting to be treated fairly in this connection um it's almost like you feel like the right thing is for them to make a decision. That's how you're viewing the connection. You're kind of like, in order for things to be balanced here, in order for things to be right, like they have to make this decision to of sorts. And that's why that we're getting this crossroads for them with the family. Okay. What are their intentions? What are your person's intentions with you right now? We have the three of pentacles. And we have the Hierophant in reverse, okay? They are going to leave this. I feel like this person is trying to... A lot of you, I think it's a marriage. I think this person is married and they have to leave this person. They have to get a divorce. Um, I feel like they're willing to cooperate with you. Like, their intentions are to work with you, but also work with this other person as well. Like, I feel like they're trying to almost be this middle person where they're like, okay, we need to sort things out, especially for those of you where, where they have kids. That's why there's kind of like this respect for this other person because it's like, okay, well, we have kids. We can't just like make rash decisions. Um, so I feel here that they're going to work with you. They're going to work with this other person and I feel like they are going to get a divorce or they're going to leave this, this situation. Um, we have the card of self-worth coming through and we have aptitude. So in this present moment, the person that's on your mind is really trying to become a better person i feel here like they have been battling some sort of shame they have been working hard on trying to become a better person you might have met this person um at a time where it's like they were really shifting and changing because i feel like in the past this person uh kind of made a lot of bad decisions i don't know why i'm getting that it's kind of a side message but i feel like this person wasn't always the person that you know them to be now um, they could have been kind of controlling in the past, okay? This could be someone who has a lot of money or who has a lot of power. They could be a boss or have a lot of status is what I'm seeing here. I feel like in life they have a lot of confidence, like in terms of their career or what it is that they do. But then when it comes to love and relationships, this is where this person has been battling their self-worth. But what I'm getting is that this is someone who's been working hard on this. They're trying to release some sort of shame. They're trying to do the right thing here. But I feel like they're also, the fact that they have you connected to a love triangle is actually causing a lot of shame for them. Like it is bothering them because they're seeing themselves as a new person and a new man or a new woman and so it's creating a lot of shame that they're even having to like make a decision like the fact that they're even putting you in a position where they have to make a decision is really bothering them yeah see it's causing them anxiety like it is something that plagues their mind and they don't want to be like so inconsistent with you especially because they feel like you're someone who deserves commitment they feel like you're someone who deserves stability um and they're very devoted to you that i feel like they're trying to release these old patterns yeah see the ten of swords they're trying to put an end to these old patterns so that they can become better there's a lot of shame about this okay i will say that like for some of you guys you may not even be speaking to them like maybe you guys stopped communicating until this decision is made um but they're really torn because it's like Again, I feel like this person has kind of built a life with someone else. Like, I feel like it's not just like, oh, I'm dating someone. I feel like this person was like already married, had kids, maybe had a home, like all of that, maybe share a car. Like, there's so many things that I feel like this person is tied to where it's not like an easy thing. Like, it's not just easy for them to be like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave and it's not working. Like, I feel like it's, it's more complicated than that. Um, what is the most likely outcome between these two? What is the most likely outcome? The Five of Swords. Ooh, okay, why is this here? The Seven of Wands. I don't like that outcome, guys. I have to say, I really don't like that outcome. Can you tell us why the Five, the five of Swords is like someone not being honest, someone like I'm seeing conflict? Because the Seven of Wands is like, I see you guys becoming defensive because you're feeling like you're being betrayed by this person in the future. We have the card of encouragement. Don't encourage this person's behavior is what I'm getting. So like 
if they are leaving you hanging, like even though I feel like this person is trying to become better, like if this person is leaving you hanging or leaving you like in this like indecisive mode, don't encourage this person. I feel like you guys are being really called to stand your ground. If you feel like they're betraying you like five of swords if you feel like they're not treating you fairly or not treating you properly in the situation then you have to stand your ground here i'm just getting like don't encourage this person because if you encourage them they may continue to to leave you in limbo if that makes sense okay so that's what i have for you guys so i hope this resonated if you want to book something personal my information is down below in the description box all right but i'm sending you absolute love and light and i wish you all the best on your journeys take care